and a tiny one at that. All through the years, we just refer to her as little girl lost there again because we think that she is lost and she's looking for her mother. The story of Little Girl Lost begins three decades ago when Cindy Snow, her father, and late mother first moved to Mississippi to restore an aging plantation house. Over the years, hard work has returned this historic antebellum home to its original beauty and awakened the spirit within. Well, I was about 12 years old the first time I saw her. I had just come upstairs to bed, and I glanced across the hallway to the stairway behind me. The little girl was standing there, right at the bottom of the stairs, and she was staring into my room as though she thought she could see someone, but she wasn't very sure. So I stood quietly, and I watched her for a moment. She stood there for probably a good two or three minutes, and then she walked up the stairway out of my sight. And Mrs. Snow, the present owner's wife, was the first one to hear the little voice. And she was here alone one day and decided to come up on the second floor and work in this bedroom. And she said as she crossed the floor, she heard the softest, sweetest little voice just call out right behind her, Mama, Mama. Mama. And she turned around to look and there was no one there. And she said it raised every hair on the back of her neck and arms. One day, they walked into this bedroom, and on the bed, on top of the coverlet, it looked like someone had crawled up there and laid down on the bed and left the impression of their body on the bedspread. You can see where the head rests on the pillow and the shape of the little arms and legs sometimes, and it's a deep, definite imprint. And you can straighten that out, and I promise you, it comes right back. It has happened to me and lots of people that have been in the house at different times. My parents have seen it come and go. We have seen it be there one minute and the next minute be gone. So one evening, several years ago, my parents decided to go into the room and just sit there a while and watch and see what happened. They went into the room and there was the imprint on the bed. They sat there for hours and talked. And suddenly, just before it got dark, the bedspread ruffled a little bit as though someone small were sliding down the side of the high bed and the imprint just disappeared. Just who is this little girl lost, roaming Waverly, calling out for her mother? We think she might possibly be a neighbor child during the Civil War. And she was ill and was brought here to be taken care of by the servants here. And we think that she did pass away here in the house. 